Welcome to this video on pen testing resources. Over the next few minutes, we're going to discuss the different types of hacking certifications that are out there, and we're going to discuss the different resources that are available for you to practice completely free to learn some of the skills you might need to actually become a penetration tester. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, this first group of tabs are the certifications that I think are worthy of noting. Now, you might ask about other certifications and say, hey, I don't see them in here. That's because personally, I don't think that they have value to a career or value to a pen test perspective. All of the items that I'm going to show you and certifications I'm going to show you are being shown because they have a practical aspect and they are industry recognized. By practical, I mean that the exam is hands-on Outside of the SAN certifications you're going to see, all of these exams are completely hands-on and require you to actually hack something in order to be certified. So let's start with the eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester Certification. If you have absolutely no experience, you've never done anything with hacking before, this is a great certification to start with. It takes you and holds your hand and gives you the baseline of ethical hacking. So you don't really need to know a lot to get started. Now, if you've done this already, you've kind of had a little bit of exposure, but you're not really comfortable with pen testing, then there are a couple of options available to you. You could take the next step up with eLearn Security, which is known as the PTP or the Penetration Testing Professional. And that is a more advanced course. It assumes that you know everything from the EJPT, which you should know basic Linux, basic programming, and basic networking, along with how to run a distribution such as Kali Linux or something along those lines that utilizes hacking and Linux together. Now, once you get that basic foundation, then you can start looking at these other certifications like the PTP or like one of the most well-known, if not the most well-known certification for ethical hacking being the OSCP. So this certification is probably the cream of the crop when it comes to being known by the industry standard. And if you ever hear the term try harder, you get it from the OSCP because it's known to be very difficult. The exam is completely hands on. You have 24 hours to hack a certain number of machines and it has a very high fail rate. So this certification is very, very difficult to get, but is also uh, very well recognized in the industry. Similarly, we have the GIAC, which is also a SANS-based training. This is the certification side of it, but the certification is known as the GPEN. Now, I show the SANS certifications because they're highly industry recognized. However, the exams are not practical, as in these here you see with the eLearn Security and Offensive Security, and the pricing is very, very expensive but they are incredibly recognized in the industry and the training is up to date, stays up to date and is taught by industry leaders. So there is something to say about that. But if you're looking for a course and you're price conscious, probably better to stay with eLearn security or offensive security versus a SANS certification. Now from the web application side of things, we can take a deeper look at some other courses. One being the eLearn security web application penetration testing course. This course is incredibly hands-on, has a bunch of labs available with it, and gives you exposure to the web application penetration testing side. None of these courses over here really touch it. They touch the basics of web app, but they do not go in depth that you will need to do any sort of web application penetration testing. This is kind of where we start getting into the niche of web application, where these ones are more methodology and some network penetration testing. So the eLearn security is a great one to look into. SANS also has one, again, same kind of deal where it is very expensive, but it is industry recognized and is taught by very good instructors. The last one is the AWAE, which just came out not too long ago from Offensive Security and is very complex in the same sense as the OSCP. It is meant to be difficult. There's a high fail rate. You can see there's a 48 hour exam. And it's again, that try harder attitude. It is industry recognized. It is an offensive security certification, so it is very well respected. 
So you can't go wrong with any of the trainings provided above if you're in the certification mindset. Now you might be saying, I don't have that kind of money. And that's absolutely fine. If you're not the person that one has the funds or is motivated by the certification or you don't even care about the certification, that's okay. There's a ton of free resources out there available to you that you can get started and you don't have to pay a single penny for. So I'm going to show you now some of the free or very, very cheap items that you can utilize to actually learn hacking and penetration testing from a cheaper perspective. So hacker101.com is a fantastic site. Now this is of course put on by Hacker One and they have two options here. Well, three really it says, hey, you new to hacking, go ahead and just click here. It comes with the FAQ on their resources. How do I get started? Kind of tells you just a little bit of everything. And as we talked about, you really do need programming, networking and Linux background. And they kind of give you a little bit of resources here too. So if you don't have a programming background or networking or Linux. And these are at a very high level, by the way. You don't have to be a coder, you don't have to be a network engineer, and you don't have to be a Linux guru to be successful. You just have to have foundational skills. So if you're weak in one of these areas, it might be best to kind of start here and then move up. Once you've been hacking, it says, hey, how do I get into bug bounties? What are the programming languages? There's a lot of different items here. If we go back, there are capture the flag and video lessons. Now the video lessons go through, hey, look at all these different attacks, cross-site scripting, SQL injection, session fixation, all of these really good web application attacks that you should know, especially if you're gonna be doing any sort of web app pen testing. Very, very good stuff. Now, if you wanna test your skills, there is a capture the flag side of things. You sign up, you log in, do the capture the flag. Once you get a certain amount of points on the capture the flag, you're actually invited to private programs on the Hacker One site. So you get access to private bug bounty programs where you can start testing where a lot of people aren't. It's not open to the public. There's not thousands of people going at the same program. You have limited hackers on that program, which gives you an advantage and allows you to potentially find bugs uh, against less competition. So this platform is amazing. You have the video lessons, you have where to start, you have capture the flag capabilities. Another great website is portswigger.net. Now, if you come into here and you go to web-security, there are all kinds of learning materials and labs that you can click into and just work through. There are so many here. So you can say, hey, I wanna learn about SQL injection. Click into SQL injection and it'll talk you through SQL injection. On top of it, there's labs where you can come in here and focus on the labs. If you need the solution, it'll tell you the solution and it's just awesome. Fantastic resource here. One of the best resources that's been put together and is continuously updated as well. Now, let's talk about some of the somewhat paid resources. Some of these have free options. Some of them are paid. Pentester Lab is a great one if you want to go in here and look through the exercises and see if you are interested in learning some of these things. And it goes from easy, free, hard. So you can come in here and check out the free exercises all the way through, hey, what do I get if I pay for this platform? So they have, you can see all kinds of things to practice with. If you're the person that needs to get hands on, this is a great way to do it. Another website that just came out that I'm a big fan of is Try Hack Me. You can come in here and they do have free labs in here. They also have a paid platform, which I think this is one of those where uh, it's absolutely worth the money. But they have the OSCP preparation path. They've got a complete beginner path where you can just click on here and start working through things that if you've never seen an MMAP scan or a Kali Linux box, or you don't know any of this basic stuff, this is really a good place to start, which I think is around 10 US dollars a month. So it's very, very cheap, but you basically just click into a room. The room is easily deployable. You just come in here and you say, hey, I wanna deploy this room. And then a lot of this is handholding. It tells you, hey, here's how you scan the machine. Here's how we gain access. And it says, okay, well, go ahead and answer these questions when you're doing these and confirm that you're actually understanding what you're seeing. So this is up and coming. One of those really good websites that are awesome for beginners. If you're brand new, you've never done any of this stuff, TryHackMe is a great resource. Another one that's geared towards beginners is CyberSec Labs. Now they are relatively new on the, or new to the game as well and they are completely geared towards beginners. So this is one that does not have a free platform, but this is one that 
if you're trying to get into the basics of pen testing and you want a good support system, a fast support system, this one is really good to work with as well. And then moving on to the most well-known, which does have free and paid resources, is Hack the Box. Now to actually get a Hack the Box account, you have to hack the website. So that will test your abilities to see if you can get in. If you can't, it'll test your Google abilities to see if you can figure out how to actually hack this website. Once you're in, there are 20 machines at all times that are available to you. You can access the VPN and attack those machines completely free. So they are intentionally vulnerable machines where you can go, you can attack the machine, see if you can get in and practice your skills. And they range from very easy all the way to very difficult. Now, if you get a VIP membership, it opens you up to all the machines that they had before, which is somewhere in the 100 range at this time of recording. And it just allows you to practice all sorts of items and really get into the niche. The nice thing about the retired machines are that they have walkthroughs available to them and they usually have some sort of video, PDF, etc. So if you get stuck on the machine and it's retired, you can go Google and say, why am I stuck here and how did somebody figure this out? Kind of give you a little bit of a hint and then you can keep going forward with the machine. So it is a very nice platform, probably the most established of the four that I just shown you and has been around the longest. And it's excellent. You hear everybody talk about Hack the Box. It's one of those that it's been a no brainer subscription for me for a long time, but it's something that you should explore as you're getting into these different resources. Now, the last one is this OWASP.org website. And you have the capability of pen testing against all different sort of vulnerable web applications. This is the OWASP vulnerable web applications directory. So if you come in here, you can say, hey, what is in the offline directory? And if we look at this, look how many web applications that you can just download and run. And it gives you all the different downloads. And then you got, OK, what about online ones? These are ones that are already spun up. You can go through here and practice hacking on all these sites as well. It's amazing. Look at the amount of resources that are available to you without spending a dollar here. And on top of this, you have VMs and ISOs. All kinds of things here too. Metasploitable is a very popular one. Uh, Samurai WTF is a very popular one. And I want to show you one here that is actually in the offline version, which is known as Juice Shop. So if you can do a control F and look for Juice Shop, here is OWASP Juice Shop. It is absolutely fantastic. So it does come with a bunch of resources. You can see if we go to the Juice Shop website, it tells you, hey, here's Juice Shop. It has all kinds of challenges. Look at the amount of challenges it has. And you can come in here and you could say, OK, well, I'm looking at the category of broken access control or I'm looking at injection or cross site scripting or XXE. There's so many options in here. It's so many challenges. They have tutorials. They have walkthroughs. This is one of the best put together platforms that is out there to date. And it's super easy to set up. They have all different kinds of options here. You can set this up with a Heroku instance, which is completely free, run it out on the web, and don't have to download anything whatsoever. It's amazing. It's so amazing, I just wanna show you what it looks like. So here is Juice Shop, and you can see that I'm using Heroku, which is super, super easy to use, and there are instructions on the OWASP website for the Juice Shop website. You just come in here and you deploy a Heroku app, you utilize their domain, and you could see I have juice shop TCM123, and simple as that. And now I have this website running. It's out on the web. I don't have to install anything locally. I don't have to utilize any resources. And I have access to this very, very vulnerable website. So super awesome, super quick. I can come in here, I can make an account, I can try to exploit this. There's a lot of different things we can do to try to hack this website. And if I ever get lost or confused, I can go look at the tutorials and see how exactly they do this. And there are more than just these. You can go and look through all different write-ups and step-by-step -step tutorials, et cetera. There's so many different things out there for this specific application that is by far one of the best. So it takes five minutes to get started, and then you can come in here and learn step-by-step -step how to actually hack this website. So really great resource if you're trying to get into web application penetration testing and looking for free items, especially this website too, because you'll never run out of things to do. 
uh, with all this, uh, all these vulnerable web applications that are available to you. So let's go over everything we just discussed, because I feel like we went over a lot of material in a short period of time. So I'm providing these slides for you to take screenshots of and do further research on, but I've broken it down. Here are the certifications that we just talked about. Again, the beginner certification is the eLearn Security PTS. Once you want to move into the advanced side, you have a few options. And I call these network, even though they do cover a little bit of web app, they are mostly network based type certifications. So we have the eLearn Security PTP, which is a step up from the PTS. We've got the Offensive Security Certified Professional, which is the OSCP. And then we have the SANS Security 560, which is also known as the GPEN. So again, these certifications here, the PTS, PTP, OSCP, all have hands-on labs and hands-on certifications. The SANS GPEN does not have a hands-on certification, though if you do attend on-site, they do have some hands-on labs. Now with the web app portion, the eLearn Security Web Application Penetration Testing course is fantastic. The Offensive Security Advanced Web Attacks and Exploitation, also fantastic. And then the GWAP from SANS, also great resource there. Again, these two here have a hands-on lab and hands-on exam. The SANS uh, GWAP does not have a hands-on exam. Moving on to free resources or free sources, there are a couple completely free ones that we discussed. That is the Hacker 101 website, which has the CTF that can get you into a private bug bounty program and all the videos that you saw. Fantastic resource. The Port Swigger website as well has fantastic labs. Please go do those labs if you've never done them before. On the free slash paid side, most of these are completely free to an extent. They do have some paid resources. Pentester Lab, Try Hack Me, CyberSec Labs, and Hack the Box, all similar concepts in providing intentionally vulnerable machines. I challenge you to go out and check out these different web pages and see which one you are the most interested in. I would say Try Hack Me and CyberSec Labs hold your hands the most. Hack the Box and Pentester Lab are a little bit more advanced, but still really great resources. Now, the OWASP Vulnerable Web Apps, that's that web app website where we had all the different types of web apps you can go look into. And if you go there, check out Juice Shop or even Google Juice Shop, spin up your own Heroku instance. Very straightforward, very easy, and a great resource to get hacking as well. So hopefully this has been informative for you. Hopefully this gives you a great start. If you take these resources, you do your own Google enumeration or information gathering, you're going to be busy for a while. So hopefully you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video.